Hello, everyone. This is Abdullah Ismail uh, from the Islamic University of Gaza. Today, uh, we continue our classes uh, in the course, uh, in the module uh, Grammar 2, Advanced Grammar. Uh, we finished Chapter 13, which, uh, which was about adjective clauses. And we finished it last class. And today, inshallah, we're going to talk about uh, Chapter 17, Adverb Clauses. We said that chapters from 14 to 16 uh, are not uh, required to, for the exam, but you can look at them. They are very important, but we don't have time for them. We barely have time to finish what we have to finish. So, but before before we start with adverb clauses, I went to, <clears throat> I saw this somewhere uh, with, uh, you remember we had uh, two types of adjective clauses, restrictive and non-restrictive. And I saw this uh, interesting uh, question online. It was something like, uh, my brother who is in, who is, let's say, who's a doctor, is so, or lives, let's lives in Qatar, for example. And uh, let's do this one. My brother Can anyone tell me what is the difference between these two sentences? This is in restrictive and okay so this is the noun clause who is a doctor. Let me just highlight it. Can I this answer? Mean Mahmoud. Mahmoud. Uh, okay, go ahead. Uh, sentence number one: mm -hmm. My brother, uh, who is a doctor, we have given the information that I have only one brother. I have only one brother. Mm -hmm. التانية, my brother, who is a doctor. فأنا حدد حددته من بين إخوتي كلهم. I have many brothers, but this one who is a doctor lives in Qatar. بس. ممتاز. أشكرك. رائع. Uh, uh, I hope that everyone uh, got uh, Mahmoud's point. My brother, and then we add extra information to uh, to the to the noun phrase my brother. This means that I only have one brother. And by the way, he, he is a doctor and he lives in Qatar. But here, when you say, my brother, who is a doctor? We don't have commas. We said that commas signify that you can just delete this because it is extra information. But here we don't have commas. That means that this is a restrictive uh, adjective clause, which means it's necessary to identify my brother. Thus, we, we can infer that the speaker has more than one brother. لانه هو حدد اخويا والله مش اخويا المهندس ولا اخويا الطويل ولا اخويا اللي مش عارف ايش لا اخويا الدكتور lives in Qatar but here عشان we have commas we understand that this is not necessary this is only extra information but my brother وبالمناسبه هو دكتور عايش في قطر تمام i hope that everyone got this uh, this is gonna your exam is going to be loaded with this and by the way Next week, probably at the end of, not this week, the, the week after, we're going to have a quiz on uh, adjective clauses. So please study hard for that. And it's not going to be, uh, Just a question, Yani. Go, go ahead. وانا بحل تمارين الكتاب في تمرين 57 سنتنس نمبر 7 بيج 299 ممكن تروح له بعد اذنك يلا دقيقه 299 صحيح امم صح في ثلاث شباك مريجين هنا طيب احنا هنا 
تمرين ايش؟ تمرين 57 الجملة السابعة تمرين 57 الجملة السابعة This one Okay So let's see what the exercise wants us to do uh, Change the adjective clause to adjective phrases Adjective clauses to adjective phrases So we're going to reduce Change the adjective phrases to adjective clauses so first of all, we need to determine whether the modifying uh, uh, group of words is a phrase or a clause, and then we need to change it. Uh, type number seven. Uh, at the top is an observation point, which overlooks uh, Honolulu, Travis Honolulu, and the ocean. Hadi. Ah, uh, here. Type at the top is an observation point. You helped me with something. Uh, observation point. Right. At the top is an observation point, Hadi, which overlooks Honolulu and the ocean. Hadi, which? Hadi adjective close. Right. overlooking, non restrictive. Uh. من غير كوما مش بالضروره يكون هو صح يعني دير بالك الكتاب مع انه كثير كويس بس احيانا بتلاقي فيه هنا نكشات غلط يعني بس لا انت ايش اللي بتا... ايش الكشارت كان يقول لك when there is when we have commas يعني when the adjective clause is non restrictive the adjective phrase is also non restrictive امم يعني هاي النقطه بس انه انا كنت حللها بكوما وهو لما رحت اتاكد منه لقيتها من غير كما وين هاي خلينا نرجع للتشارت هاي ريديوسينج ريدكشن اوف ادجكتيف كوزز تو ادجكتيف فريزز لاحظ وين هذه اف ذير از نو فورم اوف ذا تايب هاي طلع اف ذا ادجكتيف كلوز ادجكتيف كلوز اللي هو تو حكينا عنه اوفر ويتش اوفر لوكس ريكوايرز كوماز از ان هادي جي the adjective phrase also requires commas as in K, an adjective phrase in which a noun follows type. And here we go like, in case that the adjective clause with the commas, the adjective phrase will be also with the commas. Okay? What I'm showing you like today, I'm also showing reduction in adverb phrases. Yani, you have to maintain the punctuation. I can't help myself that. If there are commas, keep them in the adjective phrase. Because it is non-restrictive. Hi chapter. Hi. Let's see the warm-up activity. This is, of course, we have a new chapter, new topic, new kind of dependent clauses, which are adverb clauses. Hi. We look. The words in blue are adverb clauses. What do you notice about their placement in the sentence and their punctuation? The fireworks display. The fireworks display began after it got dark. And we like Hadi. This is after it got dark. This is an adverb clause. Uh, Notice how they are placed in a sentence. They come after the main clause. The fireworks. The fireworks display began. You can end the sentence here, and it will be a simple sentence with one main clause. But uh, but you can uh, add an, ad an adverb clause after it. لاحظوا إنه فيش punctuation هنا فيش شيء كمان. because we said that أنتوا فصل كنا ولا سمعيني لا okay طيب لا لا سمعين طيب the fireworks طبعا أنت لما تقرأها لما تقرأها in natural English the fireworks display began after it got dark between began and after we don't have a pause but here because it was New York and New Year's Eve كمان thousands of people came to watch because it was New Year's Eve Pause. Thousands of people came to watch. Lahad the comma pause. Lahad the adverb clause preceded uh, the the dependent or the adverb clause. That's why we use a comma to signify the pause. Hana nafs al shay. The adverb clause came before the main clause, and we used a comma. Oh, and here uh, and here we have the adverb clause following uh, the main clause, and we don't use a comma. Right. Introduction. طيب إيش بقول لك هنا؟ خلينا تعريف مهم جدا للأدرب كلوزز. 
Adverb clauses. طبعا هنعرف إنه adverb clauses are dependent. They can't stand alone, but they have a subject and a finite verb. They form a complex sentence with a main clause. هذه كلها إيش معلومات صارت إيش بديهية. Comes with a whole package. يعني. Adverb clauses are used to show relationships between ideas. هان إيش بقول لك؟ في ال في ال complex sentence we have two or more ideas. تمام؟ To show relationships, different types of relationships between these ideas, we use adverb clauses. كيف يعني؟ إيش ال ID إيش ال relationships؟ عندنا ideas إيش ال relationships اللي هتكون بينها؟ They show relationships of time, cause and effect, contrast and condition. يعني يا إما العلاقة بتكون بين الأفكار في ال في ال complex sentence يا إما بتكون علاقة زمنية أو علاقة سببية و سبب ونتيجة أو علاقة مقارنة وتباين أو علاقة إيش؟ أو علاقة شرطية. طيب خلينا نشوفها بديتا. الأنواع بالتفصيل. تابعوا معي وركزوا أه؟ هذا يعني هقد هذا أهم موضوع تقريباً في كل المواد أو أهم ثلاث شبات أو أربع شبات. طيب بقول لك when the phone rang the baby woke up. The baby woke up when the phone rang. Let someone okay. طيب. بقول لك when the phone rang this is an adverb clause and this is the main clause the baby woke up you can just say the baby woke up and end the sentence right there طيب فهذا لقيتها هو بده يبين لك when the baby woke up uh, you want to explain elaborate more on the time of waking up so you put, you put it against another point so you say when the phone rang the baby woke up يعني انت حطيت علاقة زمنية بين استيقاظ الطفل وحدث ثاني اللي هو the phone rang والله ما شاء الله هي في حدود بعد اوكي كويس طيب when the phone rang the baby woke up فهنا الأج الأدverb clause عفوا الأدverb clause it shows the relationship between these two ideas the relationship of time لاحظ إنه سبق it preceded the main clause so we used a comma here. However, here, the baby woke up. This is the main clause. The baby woke up when the phone rang. The adverb clause is used to show or explain or elaborate on relationships between ideas. Hey, idea one. Hey, idea two. The phone rang. So when we use the adverb uh, clause, we want to show the time relation or the cause and effect and the condition and the contrast. In A and B, when the phone rang is an adverb clause of time. Adverb clause of time. Examples A and B have the same meaning and have the same structure. You know, both are complex sentences. But here we have the adverb clause coming first. And he, so we use a comma. And here we have it coming second. We don't use a comma. But punctuation, when the, an adverb clause precedes a main clause, as in A, a comma is used to separate the two clauses. When the adverb clause follows, as in B, no, usually, usually no commas are used or no comma is used. Usually, the, the most common thing is that we don't use uh, commas here. We don't use commas here. However, sometimes when you read a book or go online and read, you find people using putting a comma here. Or saying, for example, he went to bed, comma, because he was sleepy. It's not wrong, but it's uncommon, okay? Any? The, we almost always use a comma. Uh, don't use a comma. Often. We almost always don't use a comma when the... Uh, adverb clause follows. Right. Adverb clause of time. Zamani. It shows the relationship of time between the two ideas. Right. The second type, which is adjective, uh, adverb clauses of cause and effect. Because he was sleepy. Sleepy Joe. Uh, because he was sleepy, he went to bed. Okay? No, this is an adverb clause uh, of cause and effect, okay, or of cause. 
he went to bed. This is the main clause. This is the adverb clause. This whole sentence is a, a complex sentence. Tamam? Right. Uh, when, because the adverb clause preceded the main clause, we used a comma to signify a pause. Here, we didn't use a comma because the adverb clause pre, uh, followed. In C and D, because introduces an adverb clause that shows a cause and effect relationship. تمام؟ هل عنده سؤال في هذول التنتين؟ Anything? تمام تمام طيب حقيقة بيقول لك أنا incorrect uh, structures هنعرف إيش incorrect وفين نأخذهم <coughs> على الورد لا هيك إحنا مش حلو شوي copy let's jump to word Can you see a word now? سامعيني شايفين word? Yeah, we see it. Okay, ممتاز. طيب هل جيت إيش بقول لك هنا? This is an adverb, uh, an adverb clause of time when we were in New York. Why is this sentence ungrammatical or wrong? Let's see new faces or voices. Uh, Shadi, can you say? Can you tell us? Shadi. Samani. Why is this sentence ungrammatical, Shadi? Okay. He doesn't want to answer. No, I'm just not Ah. Type quiz. Can you tell us why this sentence is incorrect? صراحة أساسا عمل لي دخل وكنت في مشوار. Type okay, man. صبرك يا مان. Type. طب مين غيره؟ محمد ابو طويله موجود ابو طويله مش موجود طيب خلاص مش موجود يعني انسر يس خالد جو اهيد يس ويل ات دازنت جيف ا فول مينينج اف اي وانت تو ساي لايك وي سو سيفرال بلايز اوكي وات اوكي ذن وات هابند اور اف اي وانت تو ساي وين وي وير ان نيويورك يس Mm -hmm. Give me what, what, what happened. Main clause? Yeah. When main clause? What is the main uh, clause? Well, the, the main clause, uh, I think it will be we saw several plays. Okay, but Gullish, we think. Uh, Gullish, this is the main clause, okay? I underline. <laughs> okay. Right. okay. This is the main clause. This is supposed to be the dependent clause. The no adverb clause. Why is it wrong? Why is this combination wrong? In fact, because this is a dependent clause. It cannot stand alone. Ish يعني cannot stand alone. يعني بفعش أحط أحطه هيك لحاله أبدأ بكابيتال لتر وأنهي بيريود. هذا this is called standing alone as a whole sentence. فإحنا كأنه هذه هجتها هذا ال structure two sentences. هي sentence اللي هو fragment غلط. And this is the main clause. But how do we correct this? We just delete this period and add a comma. When we were in New York, comma, we saw several plays. Uh, plays. Uh, how does it appear? one complex sentence. Right. Uh, okay. Right. Yeah, Shabab, Braxi. Helgeta, Nahakena, this is wrong because this is a dependent clause. It cannot stand alone. It cannot form, it cannot be a whole sentence on its own. It has to be attached to a main clause to form a complex sentence. طيب فلاحظ انه هو عاملها كابيتال لتر ونهيها بيريود فهذه معتبرها انه هو وان سنتنس فذيس از رونج طيب وهير هي وينت تو بيد بيريود بيكوز هي واز سليبي بيريود ذيس از ذا سيم ثينج ذيس از ان ادفرب كلوز ا ديبندنت كلوز سو ات از اوكي ات هاز ا سبجكت ات هاز ا فيرب بس ات دازنت ستاند الون ات دازنت جيف ا فول مينينج 
سو so, بنفعش تكون لحالها جمله فايش كيف بنحلها بنشطو بالبيريود وبنعمل دي كابيتاليزيشن للبي وبصير ايش 1 كومبلكس سنتر ايش بقول لك ادفرب كوزز ار ديبندنت كوزز they cannot stand alone as a whole sentence in written english لاحظوا هو بيحكي على written english in speaking تقدر تقول مثلا why did you do this واحد بيقول لك because i did something but in speaking it's okay they must be uh, connected to a main or dependent clause طبعا حاطط لك footnote بيقول لك انه see chart 12-1 page طيب for the definition of dependent and independent clauses and we went in depth and in full detail حكينا انه they are they both have subjects and finite verbs the only difference is that main clauses can stand alone because they have uh, they give a complete thought unlike dependent clauses We'll like summary, a summary list of words used um, to introduce adverb clauses. These are called, these are called subordinating conjunctions. These words that introduce adverb clauses are subordinating conjunctions. Of time, cause and effect, contrast, condition. And we will go over most of them, if not all. Take a look at them before, after, uh, when, while, as soon as, since, until, uh, so long as. Uh, whenever, every time, uh, the first time, type. Uh, cause and effect because now that, since, contrast, uh, even though, although, though, direct contrast, if you contrast, if you direct contrast, while, condition, we have these. Okay. يا شباب بديت اسرع شوي لانه احنا عن جد متاخرين يعني وي هاف اونلي انتل ذا اند اوف ديسمبر ماكسيمم ذا بيجينينج اوف جانوري تو فينيش فور تشابترز يعني وقت ضيق جدا احنا قعدنا تقريبا شهرين وشويه في ثلاث شباتر بس اتس اوكي بدي تحركوا حالكم شوي معي وان شاء الله بن... بنلحق طيب هكذا بقول لك تيك ذا ترو سنتنسز Grammatically complete and contain uh, con- contain correct punctuation. Like, the door slammed. This is a correct sentence. Why? Because it is a main clause, a simple sentence. It gives a full meaning. The door slammed. You understand what happened. When the door slammed, this is a fragment. Why? Because it is a dependent adverb clause that does not give a full meaning. Like, I woke up when the door slammed. This is also incorrect because... This is a fragment. It cannot stand alone. It cannot be uh, cannot start with a capital letter and end with a period without being attached uh, to a main clause. Tamam. I woke up when the door slammed. This is correct. You can do the rest. Right. After I texted you, my phone died. This is also correct. Allah al kuma. Kuma leish because we started with the adverb. Clause. Whenever we start with the adverb clause, we add a comma to signify a pause in speech. This is the main clause. Okay. Can I move on? Anything? Any questions? Shabab. Come on, go. I think this is uh, the most attendance we've had, which is cool. And bad at the same time because you only attend whenever I want to take uh, attendance. I underline the adverb clauses. Add punctuation and capitalization as necessary. Uh, do not uh, do not add or delete any words. Type. نعمل حاجة اسمها lightning round. هذه في الألعاب ال. حاجة تحضروا talk shows أو شيء زي هيك. إذا تعرفوا لعبة lightning round إنه كل واحد أنا ححكي الاسم وكل واحد يفتح المايك. ويحكي لنا يعني نبدا من رقم اثنين يحل لنا يقول لنا ايش الادفرب كلوز بسرعه بس عشان نقسمها لايتنينج راوند جوله البرق يا آه طيب يلا انا بدي احكي الاسم وانتم نبدا باول واحد عندي حسن ابو شاويش حسن ابو شاويش رقم اثنين مم. يلا ادولفو بلان تو ستاي وذ هيز كازنز وين هي كان to Chicago. Mm-hmm. Well, add the Chicago. Mumtaz. 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 M
هو ايش؟ ات اندد وذ بيريود ممتاز. طيب اللي بعده احمد احمد دويد نمبر 3 as soon as the plane landed a pleasure began as soon as the plane landed طيب ممتاز هذا الادرب كلوز طيب add punctuation and capitalization as necessary شباب ركزوا على كوما وي اد ا كوما اه وي اد ا كوما هير طيب a blizzard began من بعد مين لان طيب ادمت احمد زويد عاصم can you do number 4 بسرعه blizzard began as soon as uh, as the plan landed as soon as the plan and landed ممتاز طيب خلينا ناخذ الجرجاوي ولا مين انت عاصم الجرجاوي اه اوكي قصدي امير النجار امير خمسه او سته خلينا ناخذ امير دقيقه دكتور المحاضره بتقطع عندي النت ضعيف شويه طيب احمد قول يا طه كاس رقم ايش؟ نمبر 6 دولفو didnt go outside the airport until it stopped until it stopped ممتاز this is the adverb clause we don't add a comma because it followed the main clause طيب خلاص خلينا نشوف تمارين ثانية وبعديها بن التمارين الجاية بناخذ دور ثاني طيب طيب شارت 2 شباب اعملوا ميوت اللي في الشاب اللي بيحكي. We can hear you. طيب. Using adverb clauses to show time relationships. I get that this is a more detailed chart about uh, adverb clauses uh, showing time. Time adverb clauses. فهمت شو قديش معنى وقت السيشن؟ لأنه Okay, we have seven minutes. That's cool. طيب. I think we'll have after. After, number one, after, before, when, while, uh, as, by the time, since, until, till, uh, as soon as, once, as long as, so, uh, so long as, whenever, every time, in the first time, whatever, etc. After, after. After she graduates, she will get a job. After she had graduated, she got a job. We notice that we can use after and before to talk about both future and past events. Let's go to word. Hi. <clears throat> Well, like after she graduates, she will get a job. I get them. The main clause, this is the main clause. It is a future. Uh, it, the verb is in a future form. Okay. So this sentence talks about a future event. After she graduates, she will get a job. After. After she graduated, she got a job. تمام؟ طيب إيش الفرق؟ في في فرق مهم جدا بين هدول ال two sentences. هجيتها هجيتها هذه. This is a future sentence. It talks about something in the future. Uh, I think I can tell the answer. Yes. Yes. Yeah, good. 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 Again. No, I was about to answer. After she graduates, she is planning to get a job. Yes. But after she graduated, I mean, that was in the past. Yes. So this is a present uh, this a sentence signifies or talks about or explains a, a, a future event, something that will happen in the future, two years from now. But here, it, it, it talks about something that already happened. The, the future verb, the future, the future verb, the future verb, lua, will, and the, the other verb, will never or is never used in the adverb clause. بمعنى لو واحد أجا قال لي هيك هذه الجملة. After she 
will graduate she will get a job this is big mistake this is wrong you can't say that Nish Hakena future the future tense is never used in the adverb clause of time where is the adverb clause of time this right here after she will or after she graduates the one here is the adverb clause of time ma binfa we can't use will or a future verb in this clause we use the future verb in the main clause right here uh, what do we use tayyib we use the present simple after she graduates she will get a job تمام يعني لو جبت لك في الامتحان هذه الجملة وقلت لك account for the ungrammaticality or explain why this is ungrammatical ليش هذه الجملة غلط هتقول لي because this is an adverb clause of time تمام and we and it has a future form of the verb will graduate which is incorrect تمام the future form of the verb is always used in the main clause طيب نشوف الجملة الثانية after she graduated she got a job طيب لقيتها في الكتاب ايش عامل لك هو عامل لك هيك عامل لك parentheses وحاطط لك had انه had is optional you can either use it or not طيب ايش ايش يعني ليش حاطط لك had يعني ليش ما ينفع تستخدمه ولا بنقول انه طبعا تعلمنا في grammar 1 انه the past perfect اللي هو had plus the past participle is used to show the relationship between two events that happened, that both of them happened in the past. يعني نستخدم ال past participle, ال past perfect اللي هو had. Had plus the past participle. نستخدمه وقتيش? When we want to show that two events, one happened before or after the other. ال event اللي happened earlier, أقدم, we use had with it. And the event that is more recent, we use the uh, present, the past simple, the regular past simple, without the perfect form. تمام؟ الأقدم بنستخدم فيه had. ليش? Because it it already happened uh, far back in the in the in the past, earlier. أقدم يعني. بس uh, here, uh, the uh, getting the job happened after graduation. So that's why we use had here. You can you can delete had. You can just say uh, she graduated. After she graduated, she, she got a job. We, here we don't want to uh, show that one event necessarily happened uh, after uh, or before the other because it is already clear. It's تمام واساسا افتر لحالها بتوضح لك الاشي هذا بس in more formal situations you have you you better use uh, had طيب يبقى عرفنا شغلتين هاي we never use the future form of the verb with the adverb clause of time never ما حدش يقول لي after she will graduate she will go لا after she graduates after she goes home she will do the laundry. After she travels, she will get a master's degree, whatever. Like a present tense. طلعش حمل لك not a future. وعمل لك not capitalization يعني انه انتبه. A present tense, not a future uh, tense, is used in an adverb clause of time. وحد قال لي وين adverb clause of time? بقول له هاي. Here, never use, uh, don't use a uh, future form. 